Let's look at the following scenario and configure it quickly. So you have a specific server on your DMZ that needs to go out to another server that is outside your organization in a specific port number using the TCP protocol. So you need to create a custom service. The other thing is that it only needs to do so on specific hours in the night. So how do we configure a custom service coming up? A custom service is actually a firewall object that you can create and then use in your policy. To create one, you need to go to Policy and Objects, Services, and Create New Service. We will do it using the command line, but take a look. Each service is categorized into specific categories, such as Web Access, File Access, and Email. So let's move to our command line. Let's uh, use the Config Firewall Service Custom. Now let's name our new service, let's name it um, Backup. All right, now a new entry was added. So the next thing is to choose the protocol. So we're using TCP, so we use the TCP, UDP, and SCTP. Now we have said that the destination port is 52. 630 so let's set the TCP port range to 52 630 and the other thing to do is to set the category we have different categories we will use the web access category and the last thing to do is to set the IP range that is specific to that service so in our case, let's just use an um, imaginary IP address range, which is 111 to 1112. All right, so now we have the new service. We have named it Backup. So let's go back to our services, Web Access. Let's look at the new service. There's the new service. Now, as we can see, the service is named Backup. The range is 52,630. We are using the TCP protocol. We are using a specific IP range. And now, if we will want to use that specific service in our policy, so let's name our policy. Let's name it a DMZ Backup. So the incoming interface is our DMZ interface. The outgoing interface is our WAN interface. Now, the two most specific things that we need to add to our policy is one thing, it is the uh, new scheduling time. Let's do it a reoccurring uh, scheduling object, which will happen on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, it's not happening all day. We have said it, it will only work on nighttime. So let's configure the time. All right, and let's name it backup. So we're using a new schedule object, which is the backup. And our new service is the backup service that we have just created under the web access category. It will work on the specific port range that we have configured and it will be available for a specific IP address range the same way as we have configured. So let's use it. And now let's set up the source. We have not configured the source, so we will do it right now. Let's add a new address. Let's name our address NAS Backup. So we have said that it will work on IP range that is 111 uh, to 1112. All right. 
interface let me use the DMZ interface and enable be sure to enable the show in address list so we can see it in our policy all right so that's the new source as to destination uh, we haven't uh, configured a specific destination so it will be a good practice to configure it but for now we will use all 